Valerie and I got connected through uh, a, a mutual connection uh, or a mutual relationship, um, and her name is Ala. And Ala um, is actually who got me connected also uh, with the Indiana Ballet Conservatory, who, for which I made the piece Sasha. And then in that process, she um, introduced me to Valerie um, and was telling me about his body of work that was dedicated to the theme of ballet. So um, it became a really obvious connecting point um, that we had this common theme. It was something that I was beginning to explore more and something that Valerie had been exploring for decades. After Valerie and I were introduced and we decided that, you know, we would probably have him on display here as a guest artist, there's a lot to try to figure out, like what's going to display and what's the format. Um, and Part of what made it really interesting to me was, you know, Valerie is this really accomplished artist uh, who is nestled right here in our town of Indianapolis. And I didn't know about him, and, and certainly anybody I talked to doesn't know he's here. And as I started learning more about his accomplishments, um, you know, he was a professor for 25 years. He, he worked not at, but he had privy to be, um, have access to the Bolshoi Theater for years. And he documented some of the most famous dancers in the world. And, um, and, and so you can see a lot of the history in his artwork. But when we got that introduction, we decided to display, um, he invited me to come see him at his studio, which was a super cool experience. And as you walk into Valerie's uh, house, first of all, uh, you get the sensibility that you're walking into this little private gallery. Uh, you walk into his foyer and there's these amazing paintings all around you. And he's got, you know, it's an older build home, but it's really well done and tasteful and just kind of stylized, like you would expect to be at an artist's home. But so you're like, kind of have this initial feeling like it's cozy like a home, but it's like, feels like it's like a little private museum and then and then you go it led up this little staircase to go into his studio that has this beautiful north facing as you'd expect window wall that lets in this beautiful light wood floors with splotches of paint on the floors uh, everything you would expect i mean it was it was completely fulfilling and uh, it did not disappoint as far as what you would expect somebody with his career to walk into and then you know you start seeing little scatters of history like um, books that he was published in or were created for him, calendars that he made, uh, snapshots of him at the Bolshoi Theater working with famous dancers. Uh, you know, for him, these are just like scraps, but for a lot of people looking in, you'd be like, that's, it's just an amazing, amazing life unfolded and just kind of displayed throughout this space. When we add an artist to our space, we're looking for it, there to be a connection. We don't, we, we don't want to just have random artists doing different things. We were looking for a connection because that's a lot of what we're about. So there were a few things that really intrigued me. Uh, one, the um, theme of ballet is a, what originally brought this together. So one, ballet. Two, um, became um, having fine art photography on one theme alongside uh, more traditional fine art paintings, pastel drawings, um, was really intriguing to me. Uh, you won't, in a lot of cases, find photography sitting next to um, what's more traditionally known as fine art. Photography is a young art form. It doesn't, uh, it, it doesn't have uh, an established seat at the fine arts table yet. I think that's still happening at, at, at this phase in its evolution. Um, and so to have the opportunity to display alongside of and in some ways feel the mutual respect and connection to another artist um, of a different art form, I thought was a wonderful opportunity for us to show that because I don't think that's an experience you often get. Even when you go into museums, often there's a photography section and there's a fine arts or painting section or very seldom are you seeing them displayed in the same room, or at least I have it. Another thing that really intrigued me, three, was different generations of artists, I suppose. You know, Valerie uh, has been working uh, for decades. He has a, a lifetime portfolio that you can see. And, um, you know, I'm working on mine, but I've got, work, I've got a lot of work to do and as well as he does. But um, we wanted to kind of show a different perspective based on generations. I mean, we, we find inspiration from one another regardless of our ages. Um, but what we have to offer one another at different generations is a different vantage point of what we grew up with. 
um, and what we had the opportunity to witness. So to, by exploring one another's work or having conversations, it's, it's impossible not to find inspiration. If people are interested in Ben Gallery and what we're doing, um, you can find us uh, at, at bengallery.com. Uh, we do have an email list that you can subscribe to if you want to know about our upcoming events and you can also find us on social media as well if that's uh, something that you're interested in learning more about all of what we're doing here at Ben. Yeah.